Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into one of the hidden gems quietly added in Samsung's latest beta, One UI 8.0 Beta 2 for the Galaxy S25 series. While most users have been focusing on performance tweaks, bug fixes, and some UI improvements, there's one particular feature that slipped under the radar. It's called Real-Time Text, or RTT, and it could be a game changer for accessibility and live communication during calls. Earlier this week, Samsung rolled out the second beta of its Android 16-based One UI 8.0 update for the Galaxy S25. Now, on the surface, the changelog mentioned the usual stuff, about a dozen bug fixes, better performance, and a few minor enhancements. But like always, Samsung didn't list every new thing. That's where the community comes in. And sure enough, a sharp-eyed user named at mkarakachanov spotted something big, a new accessibility feature hidden in the call settings real-time text. It wasn't announced officially, but it's there, tucked inside the phone app settings. We've now had some time to play with it, and trust me, this feature could quietly become one of the more important additions to One UI. So what is real-time text, or RTT? It's essentially a hybrid of calling and texting. Imagine being on a phone call, but also able to message the other person in real time, right from the call screen. Think of it as texting inside a phone call. Every letter you type appears live to the other person, almost like you're chatting on WhatsApp or iMessage, except without leaving the dialer. It's designed primarily for people with speech or hearing impairments, but honestly, the use cases could go well beyond that. For instance, imagine you're in a noisy environment and can't talk, but you still need to take the call. Or maybe you're in a quiet space where speaking out loud isn't ideal. RTT allows you to carry on the conversation by typing while still being connected via voice if needed. The best part? The typing is live. That means the person on the other end sees each character as you type it. And yes, if you backspace or correct a word, they'll see that too in real time. It's not like sending a block of text. It's live, flowing communication. That level of immediacy can really make a difference in how natural the conversation feels. Samsung explains it quite clearly in the feature's description. They say RTT lets you have a text-based conversation while you're on a voice call. You can mute your microphone if you'd rather the person doesn't hear you and continue typing instead. But even during RTT calls, audio remains active unless you mute it. The person you're talking to doesn't need to be using the exact same device. They just need to have RTT or TTY support on their phone too. But of course, there are a few technical requirements. You'll need to be connected to a 4G or 5G network or be using Wi-Fi calling. RTT isn't going to work on an older 3G or circuit-switched network, which makes sense given the nature of live data transmission. Also, your service provider has to support it. And while RTT calls are billed the same as normal voice calls, it's always smart to double-check with your carrier. Now, within the settings, there are a couple of options. One lets you customize how you start RTT calls. So you can choose to always start with RTT, ask before each call, or keep it off unless you manually enable it. There's also an option to connect an external TTY keyboard if you're using a physical typing device for accessibility. So far, so good, right? Well, kind of. Kind of. Here's the catch. When we actually enabled RTT on our Galaxy S25 test unit and tried it out with other One UI 8 devices or even devices that already support RTT, the feature didn't seem to work. The option appeared, we could toggle it on, but once we were in a call, the RTT interface didn't function as expected. No text box, no live feed, nothing. Now this is beta software, so hiccups are expected, but it's still a bit disappointing, especially since, since this feature could really serve users who rely on it for daily communication. The good news is that this is precisely what beta testing is for, ironing out bugs before the final release. We're hoping, hoping Samsung polishes it up either in the next beta or when the stable version of One UI 8 lands later this year. Even though it's not fully functional yet, the presence of RTT in the settings shows that Samsung is serious about accessibility and inclusive communication. They're building out a future where everyone, regardless of hearing or speech ability, can stay connected more naturally and intuitively.